How do I anchor fixed range volume profiles? In this video, I'm going to cover how to use the fixed range volume profile tool, which is FRVP for short. We're going to tie it to auction market theory just so we can have an understanding of how this can be used versus just blindly using the tool. And then I'm just going to open the Bitcoin chart and just walk through it off the cuff in terms of how to use the tool. So if you're watching this video, please subscribe and turn your notifications on and let's get right into it. Okay, so the market rotates from balance or consolidation to imbalance or a trending regime and vice versa. Most of the time, the market spends time and balance which is ranging price action we can use this information to our advantage auction market theory suggests that when the market is a rotational regime sellers and buyers have agreed to this price range and so that is marked as efficiency once there's new information that causes disagreement or a trending move outside of this balance it is named or termed an imbalance okay so the goal is just to determine where current and anticipated fair value lies you can use volume or time for that in this case we're going to use a very simple tool and then observe reactions and value extremes to determine if price is accepting or rejecting outside of value there's multiple ways to go about doing this today we're going to keep it really simple because i just want to show how hey guys have you ever heard of goldfish attention span well, if you click off the video right now, that's what you got. While you're here, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you. I use the FRVP tool. And essentially, the market goes between balance and imbalance and accepts or rejects these these um, these moves. Okay, so now we're going to quickly jump into some examples. And I'll just walk through how I personally use the FRVP tool. So we'll start with higher time frame. This is a daily chart on Bitcoin. And you can go under, I believe these are, okay fixed range volume profile I have it marked as a favorite so you can go under these tools here and pick fixed range volume profile so what we're looking for is just extended periods of consolidation which is fairly obvious to the naked eye you can see that we had this extended period here and where it breaks so this is fairly discretionary so we'll say that this is the beginning of this consolidation period and this is where generally you see it starting to break out so we'll mark this as the end okay and then the same up here you saw this imbalance or trending move and then you saw this period period of rotational price action so we'll say this is the beginning of this consolidation and this is when it broke down all right so now you can see that um you know in real time if we had marked this out you see this is value which is 68 percent excuse my drawing skills on trading view and we saw this extended area where the market was rotating between both sides there was breaks to the downside and then reclaims and then we saw this area where price retested before resuming to the upside and then this was the other area of balance where price was rotating and then broke to the downside we got a pretty clean retest before price filled out this this low volume area where there was no value established prior to this because there was a trending move between these two areas of balance. Okay, so something like this can be used with confluence for entries and exits for continuation to look for a break outside of value and continuation or break outside of value and then acceptance back into value which ends up rotate which ends typically ends up with rotations to the other side of value as you can see here so now let's move to the four hour chart and repeat the same thing we see this area of consolidation 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 you see like this common theme of price slowing down once it trades back into this area so you can mark this out and one other thing you can do you can adjust the row size i have the volume profile itself turned off um, again you can eyeball this but i do like having these marked out just so that it stands out and I don't, there's not much thinking on my part. So what well, you can also, you can have the volume profile turned on if you want, and you can also extend this out so that it'll basically continue developing as price action develops. So I just, I just want to mark this area out. So the start and the end, and you saw that, you know, there's a break here. We took out prior all-time high, rollover, underside retest. I believe this was like around where prior all-time high was. Rolled over back into here. Again, you see this general area being pivotal. You can see that there's been some reactions into and out of here. There's a break below, acceptance back above. Price attempted to trade higher, broke back down below. And now we're sitting right around the same area. So this is, you know, you can... 
use this information to mark out that this is probably a pivotal area that if this was lost and price would trade back into this consolidation here this balance and yeah you can you can do the same thing again it's not really necessary but i'm just being redundant here for the um utility of just showing how you can use this tool so that's pretty straightforward we can do another example just so i can we can drill how to go about thinking about and using this tool which is pretty straightforward it's it's really not that hard to use um but again and it can give you some some ideas or form bias for trades and so that's how i go about using this so we're gonna go and do another example on maybe the 30 minute okay so now we've dropped down to the 30 minute chart again this is naked and then we're gonna go through we see this area here this area here is forming some form of consolidation we have this area here that was the short period of distribution before breaking back down and now we have value bracketed between 104 to 105 six a couple of ideas that we can form around this is just observing what happens when price approaches these value extremes and breaks outside do participants get trapped in terms of positioning or is there aggressive follow through once there's a break in both directions or does the market continue to develop value in this area so i hope that was helpful this is a pretty short video but i wanted to keep it short it's not really really a groundbreaking tool to use but you can formulate ideas and use it as a bias for some trades with confluence so I hope that was helpful and feel free to drop any feedback. I'm just establishing some basics so I can then move forward and perhaps talk about more sophisticated or more complex subject matter in terms of looking for entries paired with this and some other forms of confluence. And that's how we're going to do this. So I hope this was helpful and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.